Hello and welcome. In statistics, we have started discussion on regression or linear regression. In the last lecture, we discussed about some basics of the regression or linear regression. Now, this is turn of coefficient or coefficients of regression. What do we mean by coefficient of regression? Again, the great Carl Pearson. Again, the great contribution from him is the concept of coefficient of regression. According to Carl Pearson, the coefficient of regression is the product, that means multiplication, of the coefficient of correlation. As we all are aware or know very well that coefficient of correlation is also a great contribution from Carl Pearson and before that he had already contributed the concepts of variance as well as standard deviations. So, according to Carl Pearson, the coefficient of regression is the product or multiplication of the coefficient of correlation and the ratio of the standard deviation of the dependent variable to the standard deviation of the independent variable. So, there are two main components of coefficient of regression. One is coefficient of correlation. As we have already discussed that, if there is significant correlation between the two variables, then only we can be interested in the functional relationship to get the estimated value of dependent variable on the basis of the available value of dependent variable. So, there is correlation between the two variables. That's why we are moving further to say sub, uh, have functional relationship between the two variables. So, one component is coefficient of correlation. And another component is the ratio of two standard deviations. Which two? The ratio of the standard deviation of dependent variable to the standard deviation of independent variables. And multiplication of these two components is the coefficient of regression. That is the definition of coefficient of regression. Words may be somewhat different but the concept is given by Carl Pearson, the great Carl Pearson. Now, we can sum up the entire definition into a form of formula. Coefficient of regression is product, that means multiplication. Of coefficient of regression and standard deviation of dependent variable to the standard deviation of independent variable. So, ratio of standard deviation of dependent variable to standard deviation of independent variable and coefficient of correlation, their multiplication is the coefficient of regression. Now, in correlation, <coughs> we believe, I don't prefer to use the word assume, we believe that both the variables are dependent on each other at the same time. That means we believe that both the variables, say x and y, are independent as well as dependent on each other at the same time. So, in correlation we believe that the change in the values of one variable is because of the change in the value of another variable. So, change in value of x is because of change in value of y at the same time change in value of y is because of change in value of x. That kind of relationship is known as correlation. So, in correlation, both the variables are independent and dependent on each other at the same time. Now, the concept of regression, particularly in statistics, the concept of regression is totally based on the concept of correlation. So, the same belief is actually extended to the concept of regression. So, for regression also, we believe that x and y are dependent on each other that means at the same time both are independent as well as dependent on each other so the concept of 
ratio of standard deviation of dependent variable to the ratio of standard deviation of independent variable can be different under the two scenarios when we believe that y is dependent on s the ratio becomes standard deviation of y to the standard deviation of x and when we believe that x is dependent on y this ratio becomes the ratio of standard deviation of x to the standard deviation of y so there can be two coefficients of regression one is coefficient of regression of y on x where y is dependent on x that means y is dependent variable and x is independent variable and another is coefficient of regression of x on y here x is dependent on y x is dependent variable y is independent variable mind well this concept is say somewhat out of the box concept because in mathematics since centuries or ages we believe that the dependent variable is always y and independent variable is always x but in correlation and regression we believe that at the same time x and y both are independent and dependent on each other that's why in regression in linear regression there are two coefficients of regression yes in this case independent variable x dependent variable y so the coefficient of regression the sign is b of y on x simply known as byx b is coefficient of regression y is of y x is on x of y means y is dependent variable on x means x is independent variable equals to coefficient of correlation into standard deviation of dependent variable to the standard deviation of independent variable standard deviation of dependent variable to the standard deviation of independent variable that ratio into coefficient of correlation similarly coefficient of regression of x on y that means here independent variable or variable i leave the pronunciation to you dependent variable x so the coefficient of regression of x on y of x that means x is dependent variable on y means y is independent variable coefficient of correlation coefficient of correlation in case of coefficient of correlation dependence independence is mutual so whether we write sign r x y or y x there is no difference into standard deviation of dependent variable to the standard deviation of independent variable thus the coefficient of regression is the product of coefficient of correlation and standard deviation of dependent variable to the standard deviation of independent variable and since x and y both are dependent as well as independent at the same time we should have two coefficients of regression these are the formula of coefficient coefficients of regression by definition by substituting various formula into this formula we can derive so many different formula to calculate byx as well as bxy but only some of them we are going to discuss in some next lecture but after this i think it is necessary first to study the properties of coefficients of regression that's it thank you very much